the company of curlews. Chapter 9 Mana Mana Monkey Lally Top I arrived on the quay. The others came in dribs and drabs. I hadn't been out on the river for a few weeks. I'd been ill with a heavy cold, a chest infection. Man flew, I was teased by the others. No respect from the younger fishermen. Go home, old man, go to bed, they said. Are you not going on the river, I tell them straight. And don't you worry about me. I'd fish however bad I'm feeling. Nothing'll stop me. Bedwear, my grandson, was my new partner. He was sixteen. Just found out what beer was all about. He had a girlfriend, typical teenager. What can you do? I've told him not to worry. We'll go out when he's got time. And if I'm honest, I am pretty rough with this man flu. How's die keeping Jack, says John Blackbird, a sort of cousin of mine. He puts his coin in the hat. I heard he's taken a turn for the worse, poor dab. I don't know, I say. I haven't been to see him since he's gone to the home. John Blackbird starts to walk off to start his run down the river. It's only down the road, he says. What's the matter with you, man? Go and see him. I went last week. He's asking after you. I got angry. Don't walk away from me. I'll go when I'm good and ready. Thank you very much. I don't need you telling me what to do. Uh, but he kept on walking. I forget when I first noticed that things weren't right with my uncle die. In the beginning, you don't think anything of it. Dandruff of the brain. Uh, he started doffing his hat to the crows. He ducked down in his boat, all scared. He reckoned the birds were talking to him, warning him that the Vikings were coming. He'd want to hide in the rushes. <laughs> Owls in the attic. <laughs> I didn't want to go and see him when he was so ill. I wanted to remember him as he was. He even got scared of the white bridge. Are you not going down there? He said. He was seeing the old bridge, you know, Brunel's wooden one, I mean. That's the one they used to paint white. He told me one day that the metal bridge that had replaced it had eaten the wooden one. He told me once that, that there was someone watching him from the white tower. I told him there's no white tower there, man. Aye, he said, but, but there was. There was no sense to him. I know there was a tower. Dada told me when he was a Kid, it was a place him and his mates didn't go near. It had a big machine in it, hydraulics, and it pumped water in, and somehow the bridge would slide back and open, let the big ships through. Dada said dogs would always be barking non-stop at the tower. Die reckoned he saw water dwarfs, pigoons, my dada has got a lot to answer for with his bedtime stories. Dai was telling me that they were out to get him. He figured they lived in the depths of the river pools where the bottom was dark and murky. They had the power to pull people down to drown them. Started being scared of horses, especially black horses. He thought they were all black. He imagined the horse was inviting him to jump on his back for a ride. Afraid he was. He grabbed me by the scruff. I'll be stuck to the saddle, he said. And that black horse will jump into the deepest pool and drown me. Kept giving me white thorn flowers. He wanted me to be safe. Keep them in your pocket, he said. It'll save you if the horse takes you down. You needed to kill the black horse's strength and be able to breathe fresh air again. I might as well have been talking to a donkey or, or even a monkey. I didn't understand what he was on about. Pneumonia in the end. Can you believe it? 
I didn't want to go and see him, not when he was so ill. I wanted to remember him as he was.